Jeremiah 33, 1 to 3 says, The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah a second time while he was still shut up in the court of the God. Thus says the Lord who made the earth, the Lord who formed it to establish it. The Lord is his name. Call to me and I will answer you. And I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. The word of God to the people of God. And I say a pleasant good morning to us on this Wednesday, middle of the week, hum day. And they be encouraged believers to seek God. And those who have not yet convert to be intercessors, the call is still on. It is not too late for us to become intercessors. But we thank God today for believers who already converted who are in prayer, who are in fasting, who are calling on the name of the Lord. And indeed, prayer still works. Prayer is still essential. And God still hears and answer prayer. And we thank God for this word this morning from Jeremiah, who was in prison. That's what they think. But Jeremiah converted that space into a sanctuary because as we've read, the presence of the altar was visible. He called on the name of the Lord. He was in touch with heaven. And when we read it, he received a word from Elohim, the self-existing God. And we thank God today as believers, no matter our situation and our circumstance, what the world may do to us, what the enemy is allowed to do, that space, that situation can be converted into a place of prayer, into a sanctuary for our God. And we can call on him. That's really the desire of us, to call on him. I remember growing up, when my mommy called me, my full government name, Randa, I knew something was coming. There was a checking. I knew that I was in trouble. And so I came prepared. Heaven waits for our call genuine and sincere, humble indeed, God will hear us. He waits to hear our call. He wants to tell us things. He wants to show us things that we know not. And we are in troubling, terrible times. But our God still says, call unto me and I will answer you and I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Father, we take time today to call on your name. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. We salute you today. We shall back you. We say glory to your name because you are worthy. You are high, you are lifted up, and we give you thanks. We honor you today that we will intercede whatever the situation, the circumstance, the vicissitudes of life, whatever the sickness, whatever the prison is, we call on you. We convert that space into sanctuary today a sanctuary of praise, of thanksgiving, a sanctuary of prayer, of adoration. We bow before you today in prayer. And we thank you that we will change the situation, the circumstance, because we're believing in the God who made the heavens and the earth, the God who formed and established us. 
the God who made us and not we ourselves. That's what we call on today and we give you praise. It's your God who is not far away, but you would not hear us because of our sins. I pray today that we will indeed confess that we will trust you, that we will believe in you even now that we are calling on your name. This we ask in a name that is above every name. That is the name of Christ, the King of glory. We pray for those who lead the nations this morning, including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament, their families. We cover them today. We say, Lord, have your way. And let your name be exalted. Let your name be praised and lifted up. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for families everywhere. Have your way right now in us. And may we call on you today, sincerity, reverence, and fear, knowing that you hear and that you answer us. And we give you thanks. In Jesus' name and for our sake. Amen. God bless you, believers, intercessors, and those of us who are converting today to pray intentionally, calling on the name of the Lord. Let's pray today. Let's seek Him. And God will hear us and answer. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen. 